So hello guys, first of all start this lab and open the console incognito window. Now basically this lab was most demanded by you guys. So here is the updated solution and latest solution for you. Firstly on YouTube. So first you need to wait. Now click on I understand. And if you are new to this channel, do like the video and subscribe the channel. So now click on I understand in here basically first we need to enable the API and that is the dialog flow API which will be used for creating the agent. So I will share a step by step method so that you can complete the lab very easily and instantly. So first you need to click on I understand first click on I agree and then agree and continue. So let me show you here. Now we have to enable the API. So for API, you have to go to API services and then library. Now on the library, you have to search the dialog flow API. Just type it and hit enter. Now just click on it. Now if you follow the way I'm doing, you will never get error. Just click on enable. Once the API has been enabled, wait for the api to get enabled once the api has been enabled you will be able to create the action so now go to the task number one right click over the converse conversational agents now here you have to do one thing what thing you have to do make sure that you are signed in first in the cloud console then only open this agent now here you have to click on all and select the project id so as we are signed already signed in already in the console we can select the recent one just click on it you have to just click on it and it will reload itself so as you can see it has been selected now if you don't know how you can do just make sure you have to just click on view agents and just select this just once you have to click on it it will be selected now create an agent here as you can see we have to just create build your own so for the display name just select the name from the lab instruction and region will be different according to you so check the lab for it now here it will be flow conversation will be flow type so if you want to check the conversation you can check here so it's flow type and then we have to just click on create and no other modification required as of now so now wait for the agent to get created as you can see it's proceeding now once the agent is loaded what you need to do you have to enable the conversation history so here the conversational agent has been recently updated so what you have to do click on three dots and go to settings now remove this unwanted pop-up now you have to just scroll down and here you can see conversation history cloud login it's present in cloud login settings now click on save now it takes time to update the score so you need to wait for it so just wait for some time to pass now here it's already all right as correct in the logging settings we have enabled it now hit check my progress again so we got the score now we have to import a virtual file so for that the file is already present on the lab instruction right click over it and save into your local system local system means either on your laptop phone or mobile just save it because I have seen many people are doing arcade with mobile phone also. So now we have to import it. So here we have to just import it. What you need to do once you have saved it. Just go back and from here. Let me show you. You have to click on again on three dots. And here are export and restore agent. We don't have to click on export. We have to just restore the agent which we just have downloaded right now. So just click on restore agent. Now from here just click on upload and just upload the file which you downloaded just now. So the file name was default by GSP. This one just open it and you have to just click on restore. Cross verify everything is correct. Yes it's correct. Now just restore it. Now the agent has been restored. Now here we'll be testing the agents, creating versions and their environments. Now we'll get the score. So now we'll hit check my progress. So as you can see, now we have to test in draft environment. So let's test it. Now you have to just open the chat button. So let me show you how we'll do. So the main thing is that it will be in default flow. So just copy the 
prompt basically the text which we will be pasting so just here you have to just enter the text here and hit enter now here it will show you can enter the city name also or just the state name anything you can enter if you want so just type it make sure you are in the default flow yes we are in the default flow so if you want to see the details you can see it just type any state so delhi in my case now when you will hit check my progress you will get the score without any issue now for task number four we have to basically create versions and then environment so if you will try to create the environment first you may face issue so let me show you what issue we will face so if you get this kind of issue just refresh the browser only just reload the browser and it will be fixed now here what you need to do you have to click on environment so we have to create two environments one is dev and qa so first we will create qa environment now here click on qa now you will click on save so you may face issue so you can ignore the issue now let's create a version so for version name copy the display name for the version so as you can see it's showing version must be provided first so we have to just create a version so just create enter the name here and just click on save so wait for the version to get saved now what we have to do we have to just wait for the version to get ready and then we'll create the environment so as you can see it's showing not ready meanwhile let's try to create the environment so we have to just create the queue environment so go back again to environment click on create and just you can type it or just paste here copy from here and paste over there qa so just paste here carefully and select version 1 and then just save it just save it and if you see this kind of error no need to worry about it just wait for 2 to 3 seconds even for at least 15 seconds and then save so finally it has been saved now we will have to test the environment basically we will be testing the QA environment and for that just copy the prompt from here and just go back to the actions and just from here if you are unable to find the QA or any environment which you have created what you need to do you have to just refresh the browser because the data may not be loaded here because we recently updated it so just refresh it and it will be shown here so let me show you as you can see here it's mentioned already on the lab instructions so just select QA from here and when you scroll down you will be able to set this prompt so just enter it and then hit enter now if you want you can enter the city name also or just country so now we'll hit check my progress we'll get the score without any issue so if you are unable to get the score no need to worry about it just wait for a few more seconds so yes we got the score for this part also now for task number six is a little bit tricky but not hard so you have to just create an additional environment and version so for that let me show you what you have to do you have to just modify the fulfillment so you have to click on flows and update the conversation history so this is very easy you need not to worry about it we will cover it together so click on flows and from here if you can if we can minimize or not let me see so it's just drag it yes it's out now now here we have to just update the fulfillment so you have to just click on ticket information and we have to update the fulfillment so for fulfillment we have to just click on edit fulfillment and here we have to select the agent responses so we have to add the dialogue if you are unable to see you have to just click on fulfillment and then we have to just click on agent responses so let me explore it so yes this is the agent response and we have to do task on it only so read the instructions once again what were things we have to do so basically we had to add a dialogue response so in the next part we will be getting this dialogue instead of previous one so here in the let me show you
In the fulfillment, you will be able to see wait a minute, agent response, click on add dialog response and here you have to just select the this prompt, carefully select it. Just be careful and select it. Now for agent dialog, just copy it from here and just paste over here and click on add. So finally we have added it. Now we have to just save it. So at the top, just save it. Now what we have to do, we have to create a new environment named dev. Also the version 2 of the flight booker map. So just go to the version. Again, go to default start flow. Now click on create. Now update the name here and then click on save. So now from here, what you need to do, go back to the environment and again click on create and for the name, it's this time it will be dev. So copy the name for here or you can just type it manually. So just copy it from here, paste over here and from here just select the version 2 chatbot. So just click on save. Now sometimes as you can see we got this error. It's mentioned if you are getting this error wait for a few minutes or even few seconds and try again. So as you can see we wait wait for only 2 seconds and it was done. Now we have to just update the flow from default to dev so if you are unable to see the dev just refresh the browser window and here it is the prompt which you will be using so just click on this chat button select dev and from here enter the text here paste over here hit enter and if you want you can hit write any country but we will get the score without any issue but still if you want you can write it so write it Pune, yes, now let's hit check my progress. So finally we got the score and we are done with the lab guys. Do like the video and subscribe to the channel. Do let me know if you need any other labs. All week trivia games are live, do check the playlist.